All right, Scarce just did an incredible interview with Alexia. I just watched the whole thing, 30 minutes long, but it hit on a bunch of points that I wanted to go over with you guys. First of all, she did confirm that she did respond to my informant. The girl who got me the text message from uh, Alexia saying that she was all right and that she'd explain everything soon. So that's pretty cool. Also, Scarce asked her about the assault that she uh, claimed Jay did to her. Well, on two occasions, he assaulted her. The first time he threw his phone at her, she was able to duck, she claims. So the phone, I guess, went over her head. Then she says the second time he assaulted her, he grabbed her arms and threw her to the ground. Well, the phone being thrown at her was about a month ago. And her being grabbed and thrown to the ground was about a week and a half ago. So I thought that was kind of interesting. She also never asked him to unfollow anybody on Instagram. But rather, when he was asking her to delete all of her social medias, he said, I'll delete mine as well. Kind of as a ploy or a way to convince her to do so. But she never thought that anybody should have to delete their social media. She didn't feel that that was fair or necessary in the situation. Also, I want to mention something. Jay did in fact show proof that Alexia did go get a U-Haul to get the casket. So, as she's looking down away from the camera and scratching her head, I believe that she's not telling the truth in the interview with Scarce. I think that she was in fact helping him with that video. It was fully filmed, she claims. Therefore, if the video was fully filmed during the resurrection, she'd have to come out of that casket, and therefore she did in fact help in that video that she claimed she didn't help with. But not a big lie. Either way, I want Alexia to be 100% honest. She's got nothing to lose, so there's no reason to lie to us. Also, she admits that Jay is very, very vengeful. Something we already knew, but it's good to hear that from somebody who did live with him, who had a relationship with him, and she claims that he'll go to the ends of the earth to ruin anybody's lives, and that's why she deleted the pictures and videos of them together on his computer. So I thought that was kind of interesting as well. Also, another thing to note, she's actually out money. This whole four or five month relationship with him, uh, not only did she not get paid for editing and helping with the videos on both channels, but she used her own credit card to buy three $400 Airbnb. She's probably thousands of dollars in debt by now. Jay never paid her back. Jay supposedly has a history of not paying people back. Um, uh, you, can, you can watch my last interview. He never gave the guy any money for gas. Um, and he can't even get a credit card because he's owed so many people money and he's not paid people back when he says he would, including companies, and that's why he has a poor credit score, allegedly. And I believe that Jay tried to tra trap her in a way by not paying her anything, having her quit her job, to kind of dangle it over her head that she could get a million subscribers one day on a channel that would really, ultimately, never become hers. She said she had permissions on the channel at one time, but she's kind of going back and forth with that statement, so I'm not quite sure if that's true as well. But either way, thank you so much for watching. As always, I will keep you up to date. See you in the next video.